Hey guys, Fritz here, doing another installment of Space Engineers. Uh, today, I'm going to try to make a, a short video. All I'm going to do is just uh, crash uh, my little space cruiser thing. I don't even know what I'm, I haven't named it yet, but I'm going to crash it. Uh, probably throw it at an asteroid and then reload and probably blow it up with a couple bombs. Uh, I'm only doing this because I'm doing a current project right now and it's not finished. It's not finished yet. So I'm, I want to. I don't want to just not post the video for a very, very long time. I do like the space engineers. I want to post as many videos as possible. So. Sure, what that the current asteroid, the asteroid where I threw my, the asteroid that I threw the uh, mining ship at. I'm actually that's where my new project is. I'm building a little space station, like a, not a military space station, an actual space station for like common folk and such. But uh, so I can't do it there. I'm have to. F well, ooh, I could just. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna crash it into this into this military space station here. All right, I'll be back once I've got myself aligned. Really quick, I thought I'd mention Space Engineers has had a couple updates recently, uh, which added machine gun usage. Not, like not the actual just gun, but like on small ships, turrets, and rocket launchers. And I think that's that's brilliant. And the only thing that I really found extremely cool... Well, I mean, it is amazing that they have that now. But the thing I found really cool and interesting was if you put a bunch of rocket launchers behind each other, just line them up in a big, big conga line, <laughs> uh, they, they, the rockets will go through the rocket launcher in front of them. So it will be just this big line of rockets that, ooh, I missed the target, uh, that will just plow into anything. Like you can build that. That's like a new strategy to mining. Like you can chop through an asteroid in no time whatsoever doing that. And I've been wanting to make another ship to follow the color scheme of this faction that this ship is. That sole purpose is to have just this gigantic like Gauss cannon. Of a bunch of those little rocket launchers, I'll I'll have to do a demonstration once I'm done with this crashing. All right, I guess I can just not cut anything else. I'll just go from here. This is a very slow ship, so it's going to take a time, some time to accelerate. So that's why I went so far back. I I think I went a right course there. It's also very immovable. I need a lot more. A lot more gyroscopes than I have, but you gotta work with what you got. Right, here we are approaching target, going about a meter a second acceleration, which isn't very impressive in this game whatsoever. be able to hit max speed sadly I need to see that's the thing like I could cheat and put well cheat quote unquote uh, and put more engines behind the engines in the back here which because the engines won't destroy the engines in front of them but that's just how the game is so far I'm pretty sure they're gonna change that soon but I don't want to do that because it's just not like realistic you know well it is sci-fi I guess but I like sticking to what looks right now we're slowly approaching our target. I'm going to turn inertia and dampeners off once we come into contact. Oh, it looks like we're going to hit max speed. I don't know. It looks like we're moving really, really slow. Maybe just because it's such a big spin, uh, ship. Alright, here we come. We're going. Ooh, it might be. Yeah, we're going to hit max speed. Good thing I, I finally turned off autosave, thank god, or this could be 
this could go bad. Thanks for that one comment, the last uh, uh, Space Engineers video. Whoever that was, thank you very much. Fate told me how to turn it off. Alright, here we go. Inertia dampeners off. Aw, oh, we only. Aw, oh, man, that's upsetting. We didn't even hit the main building. I'm gonna back up. Yeah, we just hit the docking port. I like that glitching engine by the bow there. It's not supposed to be happening, but it looks like it's like sparking and stuff. Like it's injured. I like it. It's cool looking. Alright, bring it up. And full speed ahead. I'm just gonna keep pressing the up arrow or W. Just keep plowing into this thing. This thing doesn't have the most impressive acceleration. But it is a tank. I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy a lot more when I throw a bunch of bombs at it. Or warheads as they're called in this game. Starting to chop into it. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> we're gonna be sitting here for a while. I think he's gonna turn off the engines and head down there. Yeah, that wasn't as impressive as I was hoping. Again, this is a very slow ship. Sole purpose is just to shoot, not to ram stuff. I'm probably also going to make another uh, federal ship like that. That sole purpose is to ram other ships. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off, considering. Well, they are, I saw in an update, they're planning on adding heavy armor, like armor that's harder to destroy than this armor. Because right now, in the uh, thing, this is called light armor. So, they're probably going to add heavier armor. That would be nice. Ooh, okay, so we're seeing a lot of twisted metal here. Ooh, yeah. So this hangar is pretty much obliterated. Uh, what was up here? Oh, this is like a little cargo area. Little area in the front that's just completely meshed with. This was like a little. This was the frontmost part of the ship. They had a nice little viewpoint up here, and it's just. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I couldn't make this any much better. The ship's just too slow. But. I'll get back to you, I'll reload, and I'll start throwing some bombs at this thing. Alrighty, guys, we're back. So, let's start throwing some bombs at this thing. Ooh. I think I know how to do this. Just control C and then Ooh. There we go. Oh yeah. Control V. Oh. Oh we just cut through all Yeah, when they do add heavy armor, I'm pretty sure light armor is gonna be completely obsolete. I mean look how easily or maybe they'll buff or uh, nerf these bombs because just look how easily they tear through this yeah you can just decimate and then like this. And there's multiplayer and if somebody gets a hand on a bunch of these unless they're nerfed but by then oh god they're gonna rule the server it's just a, oh it's horrible like look I'm gonna just probably take up the bridge in one shot Yep. Captain's gone. I, I've noticed that they don't seem to destroy antennae. Antennae? I don't know. Doors, windows, or turrets. Or apparently these blocks. <laughs> so gonna... Oh, and also I've decided against... Uh, <laughs> I've decided against uh, showing you the rockets and... Uh, 
machine gun updates. I'll do that in another video because this video was stretching longer than I thought. So I'll do that later. But I just wanted to uh, show you the enjoyment of destruction in this game once more. Uh, it's actually one. Le oh my goodness! I was gonna say it's a good way to show like a cutaway of the ship, but just showing how badly it warps the metal and hull of it. It's pretty bad. I've also got a uh, new headset, by the way. You might notice my voice sounds a little clearer. I'm very satisfied with it. It's a uh, what was it, Platronic GameCon 780 or something like that. Pretty cheap as well for a headset. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. My friend has it, and he recommended it to me. Uh, ooh, here, let's just put a bomb right here. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, that's brilliant. Yeah, this game and its destruction physics, it's beautiful. But yeah, uh, so I'll make an update video showing off some of the uh, machine gun and rocket uh, aspects of the game uh, soon. I'll do it soon, unless I, I do have stuff to do to prepare for uh, the end of winter break, sadly. Let's just throw a quick bomb at this guy. It's starting to move really slow because the game's. Well, whatever. It's trying to comprehend the physics of everything, so it starts running slower. Yeah, again, it doesn't, it doesn't destroy ladders, cargo crates, doors, windows, or apparently pillars. Yeah. No, <laughs> it obliterates pillars. But everything else seems to be sa uh, safe. That's interesting. But yeah, it's been. Uh, Fritz, uh, signing off, I'd like to say Happy New Year, and Merry Christmas as well, because I was, I was busy during that, so I was unable to make an update video or anything like that, apologies for that, so, late Merry Christmas, and I hope the Happy, uh, the, the, I hope the New Year is wonderful for you guys, uh, see you later, peace.